Hello guys, how are we doing today? Are we ready to go? Now as you can see, 16th for January, we are still in a job. I cannot believe that we've survived. Now, I beat the reporter's prediction of being kicked out at Christmas, and in fairness, results have improved, performances have improved. And now, I've only done a little tweak, so tweak-wise, we were playing a gang and press before, I have just gone to the tick attacker, we hold the ball a bit better, we're knocking it about, we're keeping possession. The thing that I'd noticed through the last three, four games of the episodes was that we were just booting it long every single game, losing possession, on the back foot, and then for me, I was playing very attacking on the back of that, so we were just booting it long, and then we were just pushing forward, getting caught out, getting done over, and getting beat by teams that we should not be getting beat by, let's be honest. So we've gone for the tick attacker, and if I'm completely honest, it's changed our fortune. So as you can see, we're third in the league now. We're only third in the league, I'll be honest, because the teams around us are doing as poor as we are. They are awful. So, you know, we have drawn six games. We have only lost one, but we've won four. Now, 11 games in and only to win four games with hearts in the championship like i've said in previous episodes would probably have seen me lost my job we are still in the hunt though we are three points behind dunfermline dunfermline's the league's top scorers with plus 11 goal difference anyway so we've got to catch that there are five ahead of us on the goal difference so far for this season but Morton in second place as well. Inverness, they were up there, I think, at the end of the last episode, and they've fallen apart. But for us, we're not playing too badly. However, teams around us have let us back into it. You know, we've got no right being in third place at the minute. So we'll have a quick look at the results. So the last game that you'll have seen then was a 3-0 defeat to Dunfermline. We then lost 1-0 to Aberdeen. So it wasn't a bad performance in fairness. We had 10 shots, 5 on target. We had 11 and 4. We had 46% possession, which is to be expected against a very good Aberdeen side. You know, they are in the league above us. But these are the teams that we need to compete against. And to say we got absolutely battered by Dundee United, to get beat 1-0 by Aberdeen isn't too bad. Now obviously that's us out of the cup. It's not the end of the world. We've done well to get that far anyway. We got out the group. That was the main mission. We've done it and we're out. So 1-0 defeat there with Torben getting the goal on 55 minutes. We just didn't do anything. Yes, five shots on target. But as we've seen, we are just not good up front. That is my one concern. Areas I need to improve. Striker, Boyce for me is no good. Is a bit of a dud. Yeah, he scored four goals this season. But he's also played like 12 games. No good for me. And in the middle of the park as well, I've raved about Harin. I think he's a decent player. Halliday is a talent. However, I need somebody who's really going to get stuck in there. Defensively for me, you know, I've probably got the best goalkeeper in the league. And I'll probably have one of the best goalkeepers in the SPL if Gordon stays with us, if he doesn't decide to retire. At the back, I'm really happy with it, you know, Sutar Smith, Kingsley, Brandon, we've got Halkett there as well, Popescu, and then Janelli Walker, Richie, Hos Richie Hosler played, so we'll, we'll introduce you to him, obviously he come in on loan, we didn't see too much of him, he's always bloody injured, he's 18 year old Englishman, in the FM20 saves, he's an absolute monster of a player, scores goals for fun, I thought let's bring him in, he is very good, for some reason he's... he's predominantly an attacker midfielder right where he's, he was a striker in FM20 but he's very good we may not see too much of him because like I say absolutely loves an injury he's been out for six weeks already with a broken collarbone and now he's out with a bruised thigh so yeah maybe a bit of a glass back one to watch there we then had a 1-1 draw with Morton, so we got lucky, if I'm completely honest. We had 18 shots, 9 on target. Richie Hosler, like I say, loves an injury, gets injured. That was the one where he was out for six weeks with a broken collarbone. But Popescu, with the header, gets us out of trouble. Now, we went 1-0 down on 42 minutes, and again, after the run of defeats, I thought, here we go. You know, I'm sat here sweating, because I'm going to lose my job if I'm not careful. That's how I've seen it. It may still happen, however... We got through this one. Popescu saves us. 69th minute goal. Now, that may be the turning point for the season. When we look back at the end of the season, that may be the one. We then went on to win. Queen of the South 4-0. Absolutely spanked them. So, this is really where we'd start to get into the tick attacker. And Ginelli with a goal on 6. Boyce on 28. We had a goal disallowed through Walker. Offside on 29 minutes. Walker then got a penalty on 41. And Boyce on 56. Team performance-wise, we actually played like a team. And that's the big thing. We had 19 shots, 7 on target, 55% possession. But again, it was a team performance. 4-0, clean sheet, buzzing with that. And we followed that up with a 1-0 victory over Rafe. So Rafe, a team that were banging form at the time. Now, Halkett absolutely loves the yellow card. Got a yellow card on one minute. What an absolute tool. But Halliday with a goal on 15 minutes and we held on. We had 18 shots, 10 on target. We were just, we are just a better team now. 
the tick attacker is definitely helping us. Like I say, we're keeping possession, we're playing with possession. There's none of this long ball, kick it up, chase it, see what happens. Obviously, we are still playing an attacking style. It's just wording possession a lot more. And you can see there, 63% possession. But then it starts to go wrong. We get a free, free draw with air. It, in fairness, it was a 90th minute goal from Ian Cameron that done it. So we see Cowan in the ball, you know, unmarked in the middle. Look, look at the state of it. That is an absolute heartbreaker on the 90th minute. But it happens and we end up dropping points. So, yeah, you know, Ginelli gets us off the mark on seven minutes. So we then go 2-1 down through Smith and McCowan. Walker gets two goals, a penalty on 86 minutes. And then Cameron, like we've just seen, breaks heart. 17 shots, eight on target, 54% possession. Not doing too bad with it. Then we have a shocking performance at a Broth, a nil-nil there, nothing to talk about, didn't do anything, 90 minutes of absolute nothing, that's all I can say, nothing happened, pawness, I was starting to get a little bit worried about the tactic had served its course already, the tick attacker had done itself, but then we got a game against Dundee, we get a 4-3 victory there. A hat-trick from Whiten, so goals on 15, 76 and 80 from him, and Walker with a penalty on 36. Alaphobe with two for them on 29 and 36. Ashcroft with a goal on 21. And Banks had a goal disallowed on 47. Which, in the grand scheme of things, was game-changing for us. Because then we went on to score two goals. And we got the win 4-3 against a Dundee team that were meant to be challenging us throughout the season. I think that's the best way to go. They were going to be our main competitor. And Dundee, in all honesty, aren't having a great season. Down in ninth place. So we thought our season was bad. Yes, there's not much splitting us. Don't get me wrong. A couple of wins and they're back in the mix, but Dundee down in ninth. And in the last game, we had an extra time victory over Dumbarton. Now, again, in the cup, we're not great, if I'm completely honest. Oko flex with a goal on 52. Walker with another penalty. Absolutely loves a penalty, this guy, on 58 minutes. And then Moore with a 100th minute goal. It gets us out of trouble. 19 shots, 4 on target. They had 10 and 3. It's just we dominate possession 66%. We just need to do more with it. For me, ratings wise, a decent there, but I still think we need to strengthen in the middle and obviously up front as well. That's what I'm looking for in this transfer window. Which leads us on to the transfer window then. So we've got a lot going on. We'll have a look at the ins first. We haven't signed anybody yet. We know that we've brought in Richie Hosler on loan. That happened earlier in the season. But I am looking at strength and so midfield-wise, we've got a lot going on here. Some of them have offered big money. I have actually got a little bit of finances now. We have sold some players. We'll go through that shortly. But I am trying to get some players in. Now, some of them just don't want to join. So I've got Simeon Parza. He's getting scouted, was it into Milan, I'm trying to get him in to play, basically in the centre of the park, play him there, he's probably not going to join, he's going to want silly money, I've put an offer in, I haven't got any further than that, we've also got Max Power, 195k is an extraordinary amount of money for a 27 year old, still being scouted, but I need the best of the best for this level, and somebody really, if I'm going to spend money on, they need to then be going into the SPL and being a leading SPL player, there's no point me buying somebody for 100k and then they're no good for me. And then next season, I've got to try and sell them on. The person who's probably going to join us, I've got Jimmy. So Jimmy, right Spanish name, that one, isn't it? Let's be honest. So we've got Jimmy coming in from QPR. I have offered a contract, so I am just waiting on confirmation there. Now, he is predominantly a defensive midfielder. However, I'm going to play him a bit higher. His attributes, first touch, tackling, composure, teamwork. He is very good strength-wise. Could be a little bit stronger, but only going to get better. And when we look at the other one, natural fitness, he is going to be doing a lot of running. We're going to have a lot of the ball. We're not going to be chasing it as much, but we need that kind of natural fitness. Very good for me. Hopefully, we'll bring him in. We've also got a confirmed sign and somebody that will be joining us at the start of July. So, Rodell Richard is joining us from Tottenham. Now, for me, scouted, looks fantastic. Acceleration and stamina, very good. And finishing 14. Now, again, is he going to be my out-and-out -out striker? Is he going to be my first-choice striker? Maybe. But I haven't brought him in for that. I've brought him in to fall below whoever my number one striker is. Like, it's Boyce at the minute. Like, I want to get him out of here. So, by the end of January, ideally, Boyce will be going. Boyce is valued at 1.3 million. So, even if I can get a million pounds for him, that is good business for us. And like I say, we have had some players leave. So, Elliot Freer has gone to Doncaster for 19.25k. Barrett, now, he is a bit of a club legend. I get that. But he was the lead instigator when the team wanted me. So when they were trying to oust us, he was the man. Yes, he may have only been the voice, but for me, he was also the face of it. So Christoph Berra, I let him go for nothing. Now, mentally, technically, he's a good player. He's 35-year-old. Is he past it? Probably not for the Scottish Championship. But I needed him out of the club, so he went to Blackpool. I just let him go for free. 
Luke De Moe went off to Harvard AC for 42k and Aiden White to Gillingham for 24k. We also let Ryan Schiavone go to air for free, but he was out my reserve, so off he went. And like I say, that's what sorted us out with a little bit of money. Now, there is more money in the pot than that 121k. I am actually spending eight grand under the wage budget. So if I can make a reduction to me allowance, then obviously I can put it into the transfer budget. That is the plan. That is probably, if I want to get max power in, that is probably how I'm going to do it. But for me then, things are starting to look rosy. So we have got a game today against Alloa. It's game 12 of the season. Other teams being played, Dundee against Ayr, Morton Dunfermline, Queen of the South against the Broth, and Rafe against Inverness. Now, like I say, Alloa, they were a team that were up there towards the start of the season. They are now in seventh place on 13 points. We have been in good form. If I lose this first game, I'll be absolutely gutted. So let's get into it. So team selection wise then, we're going Gordon, Kingsley, Halkett, Sutar and Smith with Irvin and Harrin in the middle, White and Naismith and Ginelli with Boyce up front. So social roundup then, Naismith starting, it's a terrible colour, not a fan of Naismith, there's quite a few, I don't like, like Halkett neither, Smith starting is good, it's a glorious day for football and Johnny Weir can't wait, so let's go. What are we telling the lads then, come on lads, show me what you can do to keep this run going and let's get stuck in, I want a nice dominating performance today. Don't want no messing about. Don't want no early goals from Alloa to cause me some drama. And as you can see, in the first six minutes, we got 79% possession. I thought this was a great day for a game of football. As we get some proper British weather, and it's raining. But then again, we are in January. Pick up that ball, Sutar. Don't mess about. As Irving picks it up then, to Naismith. All right, Boyce on it. Ginelli, watch Boyce get a hat-trick today after I said I wanted him out. Sutar then, to Irving. I have brought quite a few of my youth players through as well. I think I've got some real talent. And if we can get them players developing in the first team, as that is a great save from Parry. If we can get them developing in the first team, then we could have a little bit of money or we could have some real gems on our hands. Who knows? As Irvin then whips the ball in, it's cleared away. And Whiten's going to get there, but this highlight's probably going to disappear. It's, it's not, someone's being brought down. Naismith on the edge of the area. Robertson could be in trouble. He's not, I guess, a telling off from the referee. And we have a free kick then as Irvin. Can he swing it into the top corner? It's off the wall. That is a shocking free kick. It's an even worse angle, if I'm completely honest. Camera angle, poor there. There's Kingsley on the ball, and it's gone. It's 10 minutes in then. We've certainly been the better team, but they have got a corner. Let's get it clear. Unmarked. And it's a goal kick. Right. 12 minutes in then. Irvin on the ball. Halkett. Come on, get a ball into the box. Naismith. As you can see, we are dominating with it. Whiten. Oh, that is poor. Should be scoring. It's right to parry. Maybe even square it. Boyce free in the middle. It's 13 minutes in. We've got Irving. Ball cleared away. Ginelli's going to pick it up. Ball in. Boyce. He doesn't even jump. I think there's a penalty there, is it? No. <laughs> Got me hopes up there when the camera only got brought back. I thought Boyce may have been fouled. He didn't jump for the ball. I was waiting on it then. Go on. White is... It's been brought down. Penalty. Referee. It's a penalty. Surely it's, it's going to be Boyce. Why is it not Walker? He's not playing. That's why. Boyce scores. There you go. Boyce gets the first goal on 14 minutes. It's fifth goal of the season. We are 1-0 up. Get in. Right. Let's see what that does to the league. When we see the highlight again, it's a great penalty from Boyce. Keeper decides to stay in the middle of his goal, and we get it. But there's a highlight straight from kickoff. That's not ideal. Unless we go 2-0 up, that'd be great. As Halkett hits it long, Boyce is going to get there. Boyce is... Boyce getting... Did I say he was going to score a hat-trick? He scored two in 15 minutes, basically two in two minutes. Oh, we are 2-0 up. This tactic... The team, are they on side? It'll be interesting to see what the the team cohesion's like, what their confidence in me is like after this game, because we've been on a decent run of form. We'll have a look at that at the end of this game. And it's 2-0, Boyce with a great finish. And there you go, we're up into second place as it stands. 21 points on the board, Dunfermline on 22. Irving with the corner then, and it's cleared away again. Set pieces, we aren't great, as Whiten's going to be the first to the ball. Boyce on it. Naismith has a goal from Naismith. Absolute scream. Was it 25 yards? 
what a goal. What a goal. Gets in. 3 nil up on 22 minutes. Who would have thought I was going to lose my job at the end of the last episode? Go in tick attacker. It's just changed it for us. The tactics are nice, Smith. You don't stop them, though. Doesn't matter about the tactic. What a goal that is. Plus eight goal difference now, as it stands. And we have another highlight. So Kingsley then. Ball across. Boyce, Boyce is getting a hat-trick today, isn't he? Let's be honest. Irving, Ginelli. Boyce is offside now. Needs to get back on. And the ball is cleared. A clean sheet would be nice as well. It's got to be game over now, though. As Connolly threw on goal. Can Gordon make the save? He's hit the post. And Smith sticks it into Raw Z. It's over the, it's over the fence in the corner. Janelli then, free kick, and Parry makes a serve. Parry's had quite a decent game. A couple of worldies, but he's 3-0 down. Irvin then, ball in, and Janelli, it's over the bar. There's a lot going on in the first half an hour, let's put it that way. There's Kingsley with the throw then. That's a poor throw, but we're going to pick it up again. Alloa do not know what to do. It is just us absolutely dominating them. So Boyce out to Kingsley. Ball in, and Boyce puts it wide. Could have had a hat-trick. Could have had a hat trick. And we basically have a repeat highlight as we have a throw in again. The throw ins are shocking. And it's a ball over the top. Connolly's through again. We might need to drop a bit deeper because we. And he scored it in the near post. Lee Connolly with his first goal of the season. Of course it is. What a time to get your first goal. Dear oh dear. So we lose a clean sheet. And that has come from our throw in. They then go route one over the top. So I think I might have to drop my defenders deeper. As we don't get there, in all honesty, Gordon should be saving at his near post. You've got to be gutted to do that. Very disappointed in him there. But it may slow things down. So what's happening? I can't even see the league. What's happening in the rest of the games? We'll have a look shortly. Naismith then. Through to Boyce. He's got options. Whiten, and there you go. Get in. Whiten, 4-1. We run right up and score. Six goal a season for Craig Whiten. Like, some of these players are really good. You know, I didn't necessarily think that we had a bad team. It's just they did not want to play for us, but they are on side. The thing is, as well, I haven't even sorted out my coaching license, so I'm just still playing as a nobody. Just the manager is an absolute nobody. Need to get that sorted out. Need to have the right qualifications for the job. As at half time, we go in 4 1, 69% possession, 14 shots, 8 on target, 4 goals. Not a bad conversion right there. Outstretched arms. I'm very pleased with your performance, lads. Keep it going. Plenty of motivated players there. I think we may make a change early doors. As Smith's having a decent game. But we're going to get Cammy Logan on. One of our youth prospects. We'll play like that. You know, he's a decent player. 18-year-old Scotsman. Look at them arrows. He's on the rise. So we'll get him in and we'll start the second half. So Cammy Logan on for Michael Smith then. 4-1 as it stands. Is there going to be more goals in this half? Ideally, more to us. As Gordon picks it up then. Sutar. Harin. All right. We're going to be patient. That is poor though. We give the ball away. Connolly. And they've scored two goals. And they've both been our mistakes. That is shocking. Two goals. Both our mistakes in fairness. And we have been punished. Connolly with his second goal of the season. Look at the state of it. Harin to Logan, and we just faff about with it, ah, oh, Suta lets us down, one of our centre defenders is then out of position, and we get punished, 4-2, they've had three shots on target, scored two goals, now what is happening with the rest of the games in the league, so we are 4-2 up, and that is about it, I don't see many more goals in the league, as they pick it up again, Robertson, Connolly, he's hit the post, they've hit the woodwork twice as well, he's offside, he's offside I think anyway, so yeah, as it stands, if I can get the Scottish League up, Inverness are 2-1 up against Rafe, Morton 1-0 up against the Brough. Scoogle with the ball in, headed, and Gordon doesn't even move. What is occurring here? I might have to make some changes. We, what is Gordon doing with that ball there, Heverington? We cannot get all the possession, and I'm getting nervous. Crawley's through, and it's 4-3 with 50. He's offside. He's offside. We've been saved. I need to do something sharpish here. Right, pause this game. We're playing positive. I'm going to drop to a more balanced approach. Out of possession. I'm going. We're playing the offside trap. Let's not play the offside trap. Let's drop deep. Let's drop you guys back. Let's just play in the middle of the park. Maybe drop your, your line of engagement a little bit higher. And that'll do. 
I think that's the way to go. Do I make some changes then? Robert, no, I'm going to keep Boyce on. He's on a hat trick. Let's get Halliday on. Let's get him on for Harren. Let's get him up there. And I'm going to bring another youth prospect on. Whiten's off. Henderson on. Let's go. Ten minutes to go. The second half has been all Alloa. We have done nothing. Whatever they've changed. The through again. The through again. He's got a hat trick. The through again. What are we doing? How how deep do I need to drop him? I've even knocked the offside trap off. Ball over the top. We just cannot cope with it. Halkett just stands there. Gordon does nothing. If we draw this, this is shocking. We were absolutely dominating them. Second half, they've had four shots on target. Three goals. There's four minutes of stoppage time. Just stop it there. And I'm not going to lie, that was a shocking second half. A proper Jekyll and Hyde performance. Dressing room wise, that performance is sure we've got lots of work to be done. I don't know what happened in the second half, but it wasn't acceptable. I'm going to say that to the team. They may not be happy about it, but that second half, we could have lost that game. We get away then with a 4-3 victory. Now, goal difference has cost us there. As Morton go top of the league. Jeez Louise. So, as it stands then, we win 4-3 against Alloa. Dundee United 0-0 with there. Morton 1-0 against Dunfermline. So, that was a top of the table clash. Morton going top. Queen of the South 0-0 with a Broth. And Inverness win 2-1 against Rafe. So, Inverness a point behind us. But there's one point between us and Morton now in top spot. Mark Purves then says, just got back from the match. We won't come up against many more committed teams than Alloa this season. Evie McCarty, what a game. And you don't win games without looking after the ball. Good stuff today. I don't agree with that. We were poor second half and nobody said anything about that. We got away with it though. 4-3. Three. three points on the board nonetheless. So Parza, they've accepted me offer. Let's start negotiations. Let's do this. We could have a real talent coming in now. He's an important player. Suggest offer. I'm going to offer him a bit more money than that. I'm going to offer him £600 per week. I think that's the way to go. And he loves it. Right, we could have him in. That's, you know, wages. That would be quality if we can get him in. Who's this? Layden. I'm going to keep scouting him. So we'll walk away from that for now. And Power. He wants too much money. I can't give him that. So Max Power deal is off the table. But Hearts beat Alloa in a thrilling encounter. And Robertson spotted. So bo Motherwell boss Stephen Robertson is looking at Andy Irvin. How much is he worth? Because if I could sell him on, I might do. But he's a talent, 20 year old. He's valued at 25k. Unless you offer me a million pound, he's not going anywhere. So the big one for us then. Squad dynamics. Look at it. Much better. Team cohesion average. Club atmosphere is very good. And managerial support isn't as catastrophic as it was. So I'm happy with that. Support for you has recently seen a slight improvement. We've got a couple of players that still aren't happy. Unhappy to sale of dressing room team leader Christoph Berra. He needed to go. And I've still got Jamie Walker and happy about my team talk to the United. Happened like two months ago. Get over it. Top influencers then. Does anybody support us? Oh, Popescu. I've got a supporter. He's in my other players. He's not influential, but he's in my other players. I will take him. And we've only now got five players that are pauses, so that is good. We had 17, I think, to start with, so I will take that. So that's where we're going to end it. We've only got the one game today. We've been going for over 20 minutes, and I think we'll just wrap it up there. But we will come back straight away for Rafe and Dunfermline next. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.